Hi guys, welcome back to my FFB channel. If you're free to play player, have no fear for pastures is here. Well, I don't really want to do a, any gameplay uh, tonight. I, I really want to talk about the spiritual conditioning that is necessary in order to play Final Fantasy Brave Exvius. And uh, what I mean by that is that, uh, uh, as you may know, I was very disappointed and very depressed over the last two banners for Noctis on Orlando. And I didn't get any of them from my uh, 5,000 multi-summons. And uh, just to uh, show you what it's like for the average free-to-play player, um, I'll just go ahead and do my daily half summon now. And it's really good of uh, Gumi to give us 100 free lapis every day. Uh, but I really should be saving up. Because uh, you get 3,000 all up. But I just want to show you uh, what it's like and uh, how I have been reminded to just change my perspective on things. Whoa! <laughs> I did not expect. <laughs> well, it's going to break into a rainbow, of course. Nah. But uh, I'll be really happy with Solia because I still have not pulled a Solia. I've only pulled uh, Lawrence and Mobilia. Okay, it's Leon, uh, not too bad. Uh, and, and, and DKS, Dark Knight Soul, is really, really not too bad. Uh, so I believe it is my. Uh, uh, I, don't, I don't even know, man. Uh, second? I don't have too many Leons. Where are you? My new unit. Yeah, so I have two Leons. That's pretty cool. Uh, so, hey, not too bad. I got a golden pool. But uh, obviously, I wanted Soliel as a bonus unit to make my farming for the Oversight Chosen a bit easier. But hey, this is this is this is what I want to say. I didn't pull um, uh, Noctis nor Orlando. But uh, you guys, my viewers and subscribers, have been very supportive. Um, you know, last hope for F2P and all that, <laughs> having not pulled it. But through that whole, um, you know, terrible and journey of anguish, uh, I, I want to say I've come out of it a new and better man, you know. I... Uh, I know what it is to be in need and I know what it is to have plenty but uh, I've learned the secret of being content in any and every situation okay whether living in plenty or living in want and uh, yes I do want uh, Noctis yes I do want Orlando yes I do want Olive and, and so many others but uh, what I have I'm very content with what I have okay because uh, unlike many of you, I actually managed to pull Luna while trying to pull for Noctis. So, that's great. Um, and if you look at my regular teams, um, at the most, it usually is only a 4 star base. Okay, let's discount the Noctis, uh, the, the, the Luna. Uh, it's a Ling or Chizuru. Um, over here, uh, yeah. Sirius, uh, Rifia, Ling, very standard things. So, uh, and, and and right now I'm supposed to level up uh, Ishtola and Luca, and uh, I think it's okay. You can clear elite just with four star base units alone. And so, if you're a free to play player, don't make uh, pulling. 5 star base units, don't make pulling a rainbow crystal um, your goal, okay, don't expect that. What you should be aiming for is a 4 star base, just with just the 4 star base, you should be able to get everything in every event, okay. Um, and so if you look at my uh, event team right now, Oversight Chosen, uh, I only have 3 star base heroes and none of them <laughs> are awakened, okay? They're all maxed out at 3 stars. Uh, I don't even have Solial, uh, the 4 star base unit. So, hey, even so, I can still clear everything. 
And uh, just to show you how much I've cleared, uh, I am going to uh, show you a little something special. Um, and you may recall uh, some of my tips on what to prioritize to buy, but now with a hundred and thousand red orbs, I can pretty much get anything I want. So I'm gonna go ahead and get Kiyomori, of course. Exchange for that. Awesome. So the top two weapons I've now unlocked. Uh, and I'm gonna go ahead and get the Trust Moogle as well, just because I can. And that leaves me with almost 30,000. What do I do with the 30,000? Remember I said you need to get Healing Waltz, number two. Because it's just uh, Area Asuna is so good. If you don't have a Ling, uh, it's so good. Uh, and if you don't want to use um, uh, Comeback for Cloud of Darkness, it's really good. Um, and you need to get, whether or not you have Orlando, you need Crush Helm so that he has the entire full break. Okay, over the two abilities. So this one reduces defense and spirit. And I still have 14,000 left. I'm gonna get Battle Hoop because it has an exclusive ability for Solel. Um, and sooner or later you're gonna pull Solel's case. So uh, I'm tempted to get a white stuff as well, but I'll hold off for now. What you should get now is... Uh, should I get Poe? Should I get Life Font? Uh, I'm gonna get one Life Font just because I can. And I am gonna get uh, Poach. Three Poachers. Uh, can I get more? Can I get seven? Okay, then I get three. Okay. You wanna buy in batches of four. Okay, and it. And you really need Poach because it's basically a 15% uh, attack buff uh, to these uh, susceptible units. Plantoids, avians, there's flying beast, uh, beasts, uh, aquatic and dragon monsters. So it's, it's great. So it's better than your attack plus 10%. Uh, with four of these, it's attack plus 15. Times four is, uh, I don't know. 60% uh, uh, increase, which is great. It's really, really awesome. Okay, next up, I will uh, unlock uh, HP plus 15 and first strike, and I just need 30,000 for that, and, and that should be no problem. Uh, I don't really need metal characters. Um, oh, Mega Ether. I want Mega Ethers. Oh. Well, maybe not right now. Because I can buy all that. Uh, what you do need though is Star Quartz. Star Quartz. Star Quartz is great. Oh, let me buy out my Star Quartz then. I'll buy the most expensive one first and work backwards from there. Ah, uh, no. Oh, just nice. So I'm only left with the middle. Uh, Star Quartz, um, 1008. I get that uh, I can farm about a thousand per, per, per round. So there you go. I'm definitely going to clear out the whole shop. So I'm not too worried. But that's it for me. Spiritual conditioning for to play this game. Um, be content. Aim for four star base units if you are a free to play player. and most importantly do not let the spirit of envy or jealousy take root in your heart because when that happens you will be a very very sad person okay and uh, my problem is that i know zyron and he as a free to play player he's free to play he got noctis orlando randy tillith and whatnot okay the only thing he doesn't have, which I have, is Maxwell. Because he, he he just started the game, so there's no way he could have got a Maxwell. So, he doesn't have power creation. Yeah. But I would kill to get a Noctis. But, let's be calm. Let's be content. 
and uh, you find that you 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 actually enjoy the game once more because uh, there is that 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 that, that amazing uh, euphoria you get when you uh, challenge and you complete the elite bosses just using your regular free-to-play uh, teams and uh, that's what I like to do I hope to, to make more videos for you guys um, I know I've been using my, my, my Lunar a lot but actually you don't even need to use Lunar you can just swap out Lunar for uh, and I do that often okay I swap out Lunar for for what you might call it Therion or Randy okay you may not have Randy so I have Randy so that's really good he's a top tier attacker but for Firion, you can swap uh, your attacker for Firion or Chizu. Uh, but I really like Cloud of Darkness uh, if it is a uh, human boss, because Manita Plus is just insanely powerful. So there you go, guys. I uh, haven't even maxed out Ishtola yet. Uh, but hey, oh, why don't I pull Ishtola as well? Since I can, let me see. Uh, I have. I'm, I'm maxed out in my unit space but I'm gonna use all this lapis just to expand my unit slots okay that's what I'm gonna do now I am so over summoning that uh, I'm just gonna enjoy the game so uh, have I uh, yeah I did this already yeah okay so I can't pull anymore I am going to raid summon to the max 660 guys let's do it and by the way as a free to play player I was in the top 9000 okay globally and uh, that's not too bad is it come on come on uh, and I still haven't got Ishtola from the raid summons which is pretty sad uh, but, but no worries. Don't worry about it. Because, uh, oh, great, Mephilia, Shadow Genius, great. So, when you get a, 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 a four-star base unit, rejoice! Any five-star is just the icing on the cake, okay? You should be able to clear, if you are uh, a, a proper gamer, you should be able to clear everything with just four star base units that's what I like about this game and if you are just coming into the game just starting out it's the best time ever because this is version 2.0 uh, and you can't get troll rainbows troll summons oh they are giving me lots of uh, I, I need more units I don't need more uh... <laughs> more materials I would like to get a few more of uh, followers of because it just gives you the extra HP uh, boost as well to your attack so uh, I'm, I'm starting to swap out as many as I can oh great two main filias awesome uh, this is this is taking so long uh, but hey well, you know, I may actually pull this, this Tola. Okay. But I'm not uh, expecting it. And uh, if I do, it's a bonus. And if I don't, it's cool. We're cool. Yes, great. Give me the than credits. More than credits. I want as many than credits as I can. And congratulations to Zyron. You got your trust Moogle. That is awesome. You know when 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 Noctis first came out in, in, in his very first banner, actually he said if one of us, just one of us, you or me, Zyron, one of us gets Noctis, I'll be so happy. Uh, because Noctis is my favorite character. I waited five years for Final Fantasy 15 to come out. And I I, I, I love Noctis. I love the character Noctis. And uh, I'm just glad that Zyron got him. So you're gonna see the old pastures back, and uh, I hope you like it. Um, you know, if you learn contentment, life will be so much happier. 
So as you can see, I did not pull a Ishtola. Uh, but neither was I expecting one. So, that's alright. Zion of course pulled a second Ishtola, okay? So, <laughs> well, I don't know what to say about that. So I got another 10 more and then that's it. We are done. I have too many uh, of these. Ah, uh, come on. It's sufficient if we make one. So there we go. You can see uh, just how much nonsense I've accumulated. Over 300 extra units. Uh, which I need to clear somehow. And I will clear it, it's no problem. But, uh, oh. Oh. Look, guys, look at the number of ridiculous fan crats we have here. That's like a hundred of them. I love it! Fan crat, you are my new favorite free hero. Um, I think from now on, I'm gonna start concentrating on uh, reviewing four star base units just for you free to play players because. Most of you are not going to get a 5 star base units in the banners. So I'll do more in-depth uh, discussion and analysis of the 4 star base units um, of this uh, Ifrit Raid uh, banner. The units, uh, I much prefer Minfilia to Ishtola. And uh, the reason for that is uh, because uh, Minfilia just has uh, to me, it's, it's, it's like a souped up uh, uh, Sirius, okay? And uh, basically on par with... What's the what's the other green mage? The one that, that, that... I forget the name now. I don't... Marie! I don't have Marie, so... Uh, there you go. And it's okay. With Sirius, it's good enough. So, there you have it. Lots of new units are gonna come out. Um, and uh, some of the 4 star base units which, which do upgrade to 6 stars are actually very good so uh, you should try to, to, to save some lapis to pull for those uh, Tidus is coming out and later on, much later on, we'll have uh, Onion Knight really looking forward to Onion Knight um, and of course, if you're a global player, we have Olive and that's, that's insane, come on your next rainbow may be olive, and olive is just insanely powerful. So, here's the thing, guys: you do not actually need um, five-star base attackers, because attack damage can come from anywhere. Okay, you don't actually need a five-star base attacker. What you need is to look out for abilities that are necessary to clear um, the different uh, bosses. So. In case you don't already know, uh, the next boss that's coming out is going to be an uh, uh, Ifrit type uh, boss, but instead of fire element, it's going to be earth element, okay? And so this is where uh, you need to, to, to get Minfilia, uh, you need to use your Minfilia. Um, and uh, with, just, uh, with just Minfilia, you can... Uh, does Minfilia have, have, have dual cast? No, but has increased resistance to all status ailments. So that's insane. I can I can just imagine that a Earth Element boss will give uh, paralysis. Okay, so you need immune immunity to paralysis, which basically if it does as well. So, but but with that with Minfilia, you can have uh, all element resistances. Uh, Earth comes in at uh, 5 star, level 24, 70% uh, of resistance for 3 turns to all allies. So you need Soil Guard, it's really really good. Um, and then her buff is a single stat buff, 100% for 3 turns to 1 ally. Insanely powerful buff. Ishtola is, is, is okay as a healer. Uh, I really don't mind Ishtola. Uh, Protect Guy and Shao are always good. But, uh, and, and, and she has innate dual cast with Presence of Mind. And of course, Benediction 100% HP restore. 
But if you ask me, and oh yeah, she has a uh, MP recovery, so Ishtola is really good. But uh, if you ask me, and she also has magic damage, okay? If you ask me, I actually still prefer Rifia as my healer because uh, uh, because full race is just insanely powerful. Yeah. But if you have a Noctis who has come back, um, I would say go for uh, Ishtola because with MP recovery, um, you can just play the really long bosses better. So there you have it. Uh, just go for the four star. Ishtola is not necessary, but Minfilia is definitely necessary and you should have be been able to get her through the Ifrit Raid event. And if not, Sirius is good enough. Uh, Sirius is uh, three star. Uh, let me check. Yeah, Sirius is three star. So come on, man. Uh, everything is possible in this game as long as you do it right. Um, focus on the events, focus on aura side chosen. Um, don't level up the storyline or anything else, but just farm the red orbs. Unlock those rewards, and that will help you get to the next tier to move from pro to elite. Okay, remember to get Durandal. Super good item. So that's it for me. This is Pastures. Keep the faith. Peace out.